Okay, so it's January 7th, 2012, and I'm standing out on the end of the White Salmon Sandbar, looking east towards the Hood River Bridge. And if you take a look at this sandbar, there's the outflow. You can see some rapids. The outflow of the White Salmon. And the, uh, the sandbar has grown to be pretty substantial. There's Stacy about half the distance over and uh, they've placed a new buoy number 13 right there uh, 33 and it is already uh, inside the sandbar it's uh, very big and there's two sections right here where this log is that are pretty high and then farther over it's pretty high but it is uh, really soft as I move back towards the uh, the bridge, this is all pretty hard packed sand. But uh, as uh, I could show you, maybe as I head this way towards the more unstable stuff, uh, you'll get a feel for how unstable this will be when high water hits. Let's see. Oh yeah, see. Oh, yeah. So. Oh yeah, see. My feet are sinking all the way in, and uh, it's somewhat. Oh geez, it's somewhat cut in the middle by by flow, and this is the area that's really unstable. And probably isn't completely wise walking around out here. But I guess I'm kind of central now. There's Stace. You can see how high the sand is over there. And uh, looking east. Staring into the sun. Yeah, not a lot of wood. Uh, actually pretty darn clean. And... Uh, is, this is the spot to kite. 2012 summer is going to be awesome. That's it for now. Okay, so from the, what is this, Stace? The west, uh, the northwest corner of the sandbar. It's all very stable over here. Nice sandy beach. Nice sandy beach. And uh, the section in the middle that the... Um, uh, that is split in half is really soft. If you can see my leg, I probably went all the way up to my knee. I should have left the video on for that. It was pretty exciting. But um, anyway, Stacy pointed out that this should all be a gigantic eddy in here. Really flat water for kiting and uh, a nice swimming hole too. Uh, unless it, you know, this could probably get a fair amount of back eddy and collect a lot of crap. Oh, crap. Crap. But, um, that's just worry. Unnecess unnecessary worry. So last year we were able to launch our stand-up boards from that point underneath, on the other side of the bridge. And it was, for the most part, uh, just slack, no current at all. And you can see now it's pretty heavy current considering it's January and uh, runoff should be at a minimum. So I don't know if that's due to the fact that everything is so constricted, uh, but my guess is that it will continue to either deposit or mine this sand on this side and, and uh, deposit it on the other side in that big eddy that I pointed out earlier.